Hello YouTube, it's Balmore here, back again with more blind gaming. Today we're playing Penumbra Overture. <laughs> For the PC, of course. And we're on part 9 of our series. Hooray! We're on our way to rescue Red, who's somewhere in this facility. Um, we have... Well, we made it into this room when we got chased by the worm you guys saw last video. Feel free to watch that if you haven't. It's actually pretty good. Um, that worm is really scary and uh, quick. So it's actually cool we got lucky. <laughs> and luckily, I ran around pushing the first buttons I saw and all that. We It worked out well. We've seamlessly gotten through this game. Um, the survival horror series leading up to um, Amnesia, Soma, and Allison Road. I think we're just we're kicking butt so hopefully we stay that way anyways without further ado let's get to it we have a lot of stuff we found um, these potion or um, chemicals we're gonna have to do something with them for I don't know to do what we've just got all sorts of goodies but anyways let's get to it I think we're as far as we can we've done everything up to this point I can pretty much confidently say that Oh no, not more dogs. I don't want any more dogs. Oh wait, no, this is a chemical place. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've gotten every dog. So, let's see, we've done everything but the incinerator, I think. I think we came from section B. We've done the chemical storage areas. That was um, where the worm was. And now we just need to go to the incinerator. Maybe that's where Red is. Oh, we're past it. Yep. Okay, it's really loud. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Oh, maybe that's with the crowbar. Do we saw the crowbar? And we got that from the lake. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentence me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Red all alone once more, like all the others. Don't worry, Red. I'm coming, buddy. Hmm. I bet that's what the chemicals are for, to blow that. Poor Red. carry some, aren't we? My hand's already sweating thinking about it. Whoa! Getting a little nervous. This is gonna suck. It's gonna be a wrong, one wrong move. You're dead. D -E -D -D -E D-E-D-D-E-D. kits and not having anything. Alright, so that turns on that. We got a lighter to start it. Let's save it. Of course, our friendly neighborhood Satan whisper. <laughs> As I've called it the whole game. Alright, so I think we're going to have to put that on there. Oh, you don't have to turn it. It just turns the gas on. Now we 
have to figure out what chemicals. A. Nope. A. E. Nope. Well, at least this is, um, you just do it till you get it. What's this one after? Dang it. I'm sure reading will tell me. All right, I think F, like an oddball. Let's go F, B. Uh, C. We already did A. That's what, F and D, okay. All the chemicals are gone. All right, means this is it. This is what we got to do. Whew, let's save it. So F and D, Frank Delta. All right, let's get our uh, techno stick out. Um, I'm assuming we don't want to run into anything. If it taps on anything, we're done. go the mouse wheel or the button oh my god it's hard to hold the mouse button and turn okay so we're gonna have to gently set it down Just have to throw a rock at it. I think. Anything to pick up? <laughs> no. Oh, what do we got here? Crowbar. I don't really have anything to throw at it. fuse or anything. There's got to be a rock here. Hmm. Alright, let me pause while I'm figuring out what to... Uh what to do here. Hold on a sec. Okay, guys, I came back and opened this drawer. There was a rope or a fuse already made for us. So I would have had that if I paid attention. <laughs> so we stick it in there and light it and run. As long as I don't die to, you know, on my way back here. I was doing so good, like, seamlessly figuring this stuff out, but felt dumb. <laughs> and I grabbed it and I was like, oh crap, I should have recorded it. But at least you guys know where. It's not like it was hard. Okay, here we go. here like a stairway it's weird no that's not stairs that's I don't know what that is now why would red be in the incinerator and what What's in there? Is that like to the outdoors? Is it a reactor? 
Maybe that's what it was. It wasn't an incinerator. It was a reactor. Maybe that's what it said. Locked, huh? Oh. Guess not. Crowbar? Driver. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Let's go this way. You know, it definitely is good to not have to worry about dogs. Oh. Good evening. You, you, you actually came. Red. There is much that should leave my throat box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The other world already beckoned me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change it. It is false pretension, and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors, as the basements go, you shall be admirably had normal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you in a voice you knew only as read. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are uh, not my own. Who and is I today? I my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chats and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in the tea. Oh, Red. So he is in an, in an incinerator. How the hell did he go in there? He's got a key. Why can't you stick it through the... Uh, Red, I am not going to kill you, buddy. I'll get you out of there, Red. I'll get you out. Red. He wants me to kill him, and I think I have to. Ugh. I don't want to, Red. I love you, buddy. That's sick. I'll miss you, Red. I want to know who they is because I want to kill them. So this was Red's pad. He read lots of books. Oh, Red. He was talking to me here. What'd you do? Those stupid... Whoever they are did this to him. Talked him in and locking himself in the incinerator. Well, 
Hello, Red. He likes his ladies. At least he had some uh, female companion down here with him. Is that a pig? Looks like he was eating it. <laughs> it soaked through. Oh, red. Oh, there's his potty hall. Got his lady friends up there. Nice red. like he was those worms he was eating them I think he mentioned oh he was attempting suicide there's something there okay now what does that mean I can get through that other door maybe Damn it, Red. Why'd you have to go and die? We could be buddies. the video yet because I think we're you know here at the end make sure we uh, capture this maybe I didn't I passed something in here there's no door there no door there where the hell does that go you cut the wires to something So it's not that. Let's just double. Oh, maybe it's back. No, it can't be. We're missing something here. Let me pause it. Okay, maybe we need to use the crowbar on this. I can't find any other door. I was wondering. I was getting like. What the hell do I gotta do? Hmm. This is creepy. Oh, that must be the box from the other side. Exit. Oh no, it says exit that way. There's somebody there. Okay, guys. Well, I think that does it. Let's go ahead and uh, it'll be quieter if we do this. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, Penumbra Overture <laughs> for the PC. Um, very short, nine 
for my channel, full gameplay walkthroughs, nine videos, nothing. But that being said, there's three games in total for Penumbra. The next one will be Black Plague. And I've read a little bit on it, and um, supposedly it's the hardest one by far and scarier. So we're going to have um, uh, some sort of creature, and it's not going to be wolves. Yay! I freaking hate wolves. Wolves and spiders, this game. <laughs> the wolves and spiders sucked. But um, we got through it, so it's good. I think Amnesia had a machine for pigs. I wonder if that's like a reference to later on. But um, guys, thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate all your support. You guys have been great um, through this whole game. It's been uh, a great experience for me. I think getting into the roots of the game itself has um, just opened the door for me for these games. We appreciate them. And this game didn't look horrible. I mean, graphics are nothing, you know, for nowadays, but it didn't look horrible at all. So the experience wasn't that bad, and you had to use your mind. We pretty much, outside of a few times where I had to look around, like, the end here for the door, you just had to simply use a crowbar. Um, we seamlessly went right through the game. So that was fun. That was fun. This next one, I guess, is rough in some parts. It's going to be rough, and that's all I've heard. So I think I'll have to read... Um, again, I, I don't think I can get away with it. The, the, the third one, um, Requiem, is going to be puzzles, so I don't know if I'm going to have to read on that, but I heard that one's tough puzzle-wise, but um, it's all doable. So I'm glad I did this, and I hope you guys are too. If you haven't caught any of the other um, Penumbra episodes, please feel free to flip right through that. I should have them properly tagged and labeled so you'll know in the uh, by the tags that uh, you know whatever you're looking for some key or whatnot and I'll try to add that to the descriptions too to be a little more specific so um, but yeah I overall enjoyed this I think on a 1 to 10 this was um, uh, I'd say it was different I'd say, I'd say it was a strong 4 in my opinion I think it was really good I think it was too short in my opinion but um it could have been scarier a more variety of monsters or something and um but yeah the length of it that nah, sucked <laughs> these stupidly short games but uh, i think all together we might get 30 videos i don't know if they're all about nine a piece uh, we'll see though i think all together penumbra will be uh, lengthy in, in general so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're new to the channel, again, I use a, uh, the name Balamore for most any game that I play for the Avatar. And um, it stuck when I was playing World of Warcraft back in the day years ago. And blind gaming has two meanings. I do play games blind, not playing them before. There are some exceptions where it was a long time since I played it and I want to reminisce. And then the second meaning is I am actually blind. I have a very severe vision impairment called Stark Arts. It's in the channel description. So you get to watch a guy run around blind, playing video games blind. <laughs> For your amusement, of course. And uh, I hope you stick around. You like the personality because that's one thing I know when I watch LPs that I have to like them at least a little bit. And I hope you do. If there's anything that I can change on the channel, please let me know in the comments on any of my videos. I do watch, I do pay attention to subscribers. I will listen to viewers, but I, if there's contradicting viewpoints, I'll listen to a subscriber over a viewer's um, input just because you could simply click subscribe and be part of the channel. And if you don't want to do something like that, then I'm not really um, apt to listen. Just because I want to keep the channel, um, subscribers, you guys that are listening, you know who you are. I want to keep you number one because that's what this this is about. It's it's about you guys entertaining you, giving you what you want. Giggity. And uh, just making the experience enjoyable. So I hope you like the thumbnail art I've been putting on videos. And I hope you like that a little better, more entertaining, give you a little view of what's to come. And I like doing it. It's fun doing that kind of stuff. And I hope you like the channel art, changing that around. I have a spooky wood scene right now with some red glowy eyes. I thought that was pretty cool. But once I started using Photoshop, um, which wasn't right away, it was in the past like three weeks, four weeks, something like that, 
I've been learning it and it's been it's been really fun it's been tough learning it but once you kind of do it it's easy it's just a lot of work um, but I, I like adding the channel and making it better and going to a positive end um, bits at a time being I have a full-time career it's it's tough to put time in but I'm putting a lot of it in for you guys because it's something I always wanted to do for myself um, and um, the blind thing is more you know everybody's got their own disability if it's emotional or mental or physical um, I'm hoping you can relate on that level to me and enjoy the experience a little better because you know it was rough when I first found out and I wasn't I was born with it but it didn't kick in until my late 20s no my mid 20s 24 I think oh crap what was it no I was 26 I'm 36 right now um, I definitely don't look like it but um, I'm 36 so 10 years it started yeah but it was tough at first and then um, you know I got through it and I'm very productive I can still play video games so that's completely awesome and uh, I hope to do this forever with you guys until I'm dead D-E-D-D -E -D -D -ed. <laughs> not to sound morbid or anything but I really really enjoy this and my um, I definitely need to do a shout out to my wife she's very very supportive of me um, in what I'm attempting to do here with my channel so it's it's been great I've been getting good feedback from my friends and um, from you guys uh, subscribers or people that haven't chose to subscribe and later ended up subscribing that was it was nice to see input and that people are watching and paying attention I like that kind of thing and it makes me feel good that I'm doing the right thing here and um, whether it turns out successful or not at least I know I tried it and I think we all need to do something like that whatever it is you wanted to do just take a leap um, and, that, and that's what I did and I, I hope to continue to do so so anyways guys thanks so much for watching like comment subscribe share and or donate hope to see you very very soon the next series will be penumbra black plague so I hope to see you on that series and then many more to come if you haven't checked already I have a um, on my channel you can simply click the playlist tab and you can peruse all my game series they're full gameplay walkthroughs they're not partials they're not um, betas or not tests it, complete gameplay walkthroughs or LPs um, mostly all commentary there was a phase where I wasn't but I decided to really do all that I could right now to um, keep the commentary because that's part of the, the channel and I need to keep it that way regardless how many videos I can submit or not to you guys or publish I should say but anyways with, until next time as always guys later